gentleman from Minnesota is recognized for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, I rise in support of my amendment. This amendment stipulates that none of the funds of this bill may be used in violation of Section 236C of the Immigration and Nationality Act. Practically speaking, my amendment would prohibit the United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, from using taxpayer dollars to process the release or to administer alternative forms of detention to illegal immigrants who committed a crime which mandates their incarceration under Section 236C of the Immigration and Nationality Act. Importantly, Section 236C requires the U.S. government detain illegal aliens who have committed any one of a series of crimes, serious crimes detailed in Section 236C until that illegal alien is deported to their home country. For example, Section 236C would require ICE to detain an alien that committed arson until that alien is deported. I think this is a very common sense provision. In fact, in my opinion, that cr uh, criminal illegal aliens shouldn't be in the United States in the first place, but that is a debate for another day. Make no mistake, I want to state that I think the vast majority of ICE employees are great Americans, and I personally appreciate the work that they do to ensure our nation remains a nation founded under the rule of law. Nevertheless, ICE does not always operate in accordance with Section 236C. For example, ICE has allowed criminal illegal aliens who are waiting for deportation hearing to leave federal detention facilities and re-enter the general public if the criminal illegal alien is fitted with a GPS tracking device or regularly checks in with their ICE supervisor. This is very troubling to me, Mr. Chairman. In August 2010, ICE's policy of releasing dangerous criminal aliens proved deadly. According to the Freedom of Information Act, which I have, illegal aliens Carlos Montano was sentenced to over a year in jail for a second DWI and was released from ICE custody wearing only a GPS tracking device. This is in direct violation to Section 236C. Tragically, on August 1st, Montano got drunk, got behind a wheel, and collided head-on with a vehicle carrying three nuns. This head-on collision killed 66-year-old sister Jeanette Moser of Virginia. To protect innocent citizens from criminal illegal aliens, I firmly believe we need to enforce immigration laws, especially Section 236C that mandates the detention of dangerous criminal illegal aliens. Therefore, I urge my colleagues to support this amendment to prohibit taxpayer funds from being used in violation of Section 236C. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back.